I have not, by the time I came here, I had not seen the letter. But I saw a copy circulating on social media. My office had not received the letter. I want members to appreciate that we are changing the mode of how we operate. The other day you saw me with the first lady trying to struggle um, to make sure that we have teachers in schools. Was I usurping our powers? The other day you saw me with the Honor of Katumba Wamara struggling to make sure that people don't do so the work. The other day you saw me in uh, Buyende uh, trying to see that the fisheries department can deliver to the people. You remember we have uh, uh, the ice plant that has failed to get completed since 2015. And a number of projects and of government. I am a leader of government. I am mandated by Article 108 to coordinate government business. All sectors. I remember the other day I was with the Minister of Health when we were handling mandatory testing. I've been to Mulago Hospital to see that our people get the best. And I think I'm doing very well when it comes to my roles. And I know my boundaries. I have not seen the letter. If the minister decided to address me in social media, that is different. It is in discipline. But I have not seen the letter. Maybe uh, he was still formulating it. But people are telling me the signature on the letter is his. My office and his are near each other. We have had a number of meetings. Sometimes he doesn't attend. Even today he did not attend. And we cannot let Ugandans be suffocated. I told you at the onset of my term of office that we shall not allow laziness. So I want to inform Ugandans that let me wait for the letter. I will reply. And I believe the president was given a copy. He will get a copy. Is your opening authority happy with the way you are Between the, the leader of government business and her juniors, it's all about the power she has usurped. The, 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 the junior ministers feel unsecure because the prime minister is trying to almost to do everything. She, they are complaining that she's trying to be everywhere, to do everything, rendering them useless in their offices. Maybe if it, that is her nature as an individual, but individual, individual program should be differentiated from programs of government. Because there are laid procedures which you are supposed to follow as a government office, officer. That in case you are going to perform any government duty, at least you just inform the person who is in charge of that docket. Like for example, the minister in charge of disaster preparedness. If you are going to donate anything in relation to disaster, to disaster you inform them at least such that they can also make their own contribution. The contribution may not be necessarily physical, but it can be in some kind of moral form that we should do BCD in such, in such a time in order to avoid such kind of catastrophes. So the Prime Minister is the leader. There is no way her juniors can call her to order. The best way or the only way they can do is to complain through the media. That's what they have done. But if they are complaining about service delivery, then that would be totally different. Because it is people now who want to, who are interested in services, but they are not interested in wars. But these are fighting political powers that they are not being felt where they are. That is happening, but I'm not surprised that these quarrels are there in the Prime Minister's office. First and foremost, you must know that uh, they are senior ministers. Honorable Hilary Ronek is one of the longest serving ministers in this government. And therefore, uh, because of that, you get a new prime minister who seems to have, who may not appreciate procedure, that's what I can say. And we have been seeing her moving to the field without the sector ministers. So for me, I'm not surprised that that misunderstanding is there.
All I can say is that uh, they need to get back to the drawing board. The Prime Minister needs to know clearly what her roles are and what the roles of the other ministers are. And if she wants to move into an area that concerns another minister, the Prime Minister must move with this minister instead of going alone at the forefront. Of course, there were issues previously where 5 billion shillings was moved from the disaster preparedness and placed directly under the Prime Minister. So these quarrels are bound to happen for as long as clear lines are not drawn between the ministers and the Prime Minister. Because today it is Minister for Disaster Preparedness. Tomorrow it may be another minister complaining. So the roles must be clear. Uh, minister Education in Badenayo, Jews in Badenayo Ministry of Works, Ngatugeza Ko Kuraba Abantu Bafebafuna Mbatia, Mu government here, no, Trino would debutono, Trino implementing a manifesto, Tewali would Akuna Kurara. So, Nzechengamba, and she Mukuruanga Hira on neck, Muech Tiwa Simunio Mangako, Bajam Office Yang and Muobudi. Ministry of Health, Tukola Ganyefina, Tukozevi to Vinji. Ministry of Internal Affairs. Ministry of Gender. Juzi wetuwa de tugaba muka tege dekari. Tukoze bulunji. And I think omulimo guange nga Prime Minister. Nze saba Minister. Bwesa nganga wali wo echigani. Nyingi lao. Ela yesu nga luwachi vampo vunanyi zibwabolo. Oyaga loga menti ya vantu wa besente. Nga andi saba Minister. Ngo tude nemeku yingi lao. Bana Uganda banange. Nkole chuse. Nkole chuse. Okujako. Njaku saba. By Minister Van Nang, in Stambul, the one in Kola Yachuka, in Gabo Gambi, Mukama Wange, Nimamla Bakutivinga Gamba Musanifu, Nang and Musanifu.